Onion Growers, this is Ray Cruz, the ISU Extension Outreach Office of Dubuque County. And today we're talking about whether our onions are ready to pull. And here you can see that our onions are starting to reach a decent size. This is my biggest one. It's between a baseball and a softball in size, but most of them are about a softball to a tennis ball in size. And you can see here, I don't have many that are tipping over, just three in the garden. Now, they're not ready to pick yet because we're looking for between a quarter and a half of the onions out here to be tipping over at the neck as opposed to only three of the 17. So I'll show you what a batch of onions looks like that's more appropriately ready to pull. So here we are sitting in a different area of my onion patch with a different cultivar I'm trying for the first time called candy. And you can see here a better example of a batch of onions that is ready to pull for curing. We're sitting here at more than a quarter, actually we're sitting close to 75% or three quarters of the plants have kinked over at the neck, indicating that they're ready to pull for curing. Now to pull an onion for curing is pretty easy. You can just go down here in the garden very carefully tip them out of where they're growing there and just being careful not to damage the onion. You can use a shovel or something like that, but just be careful not to damage the onion and try not to pull the tops off. And we'll talk about what proper curing conditions are next. Once we have pulled our onions, we're gonna put them in a warm location with plenty of airflow and out of direct sunlight. And for me, that's in my windbreak. For you, it could be in your garage, old barn or windbreak. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to put them on a surface where they don't have the ability to collect moisture so I've just put a nice bed of straw on top of the bottom of my coaster wagon here so they don't sweat against the surface. And then we're just going to lay them out so that there's plenty of airflow between the bulbs to get them drying. Now what another tip that we're not going to do in the, in the drying process is disconnect the top from the base. We're going to leave that connected. And the reason why is because this is moist. This neck has moisture in there that has the ability to take pathogens that are going to rot this bulb in time down through the neck. So our goal is, is to leave this neck on, let it dry with the top on, then cut it off. So we're going to, like I said, leave them out here for one and a half to two weeks. If these were pungent onions like Copra's or Patterson's or Red Zeppelin's, we could leave them out here for up to three weeks. But for the sweet onions, we're only going to leave them out here for one and a half to two weeks. I'll update you after that point has passed on what to do next on how to store them. 